Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is use area model. So we are going to show you a few different ways on how to find area. And uh, there's our common core strand for our teachers. And our question is why uh, can we multiply to find the area of a rectangle? Okay, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, and then at the top, make sure you click the third grade link. You'll see I teach all kinds of high school classes also. So here's a problem here. John has a garden that is shaped like a rectangle. Each unit square represents one square meter. What is the area of his garden? Okay, so here's one way. We can just count all these unit squares right here. So let's go ahead and count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So there are eighteen unit squares, and so the area is, it says each square is uh, one square meter. So since there's eighteen of them, then the area is eighteen square meters. Okay, easy, huh? All right, so um, uh, count the number of rows. Here's another way. So we're going to go ahead and count the number uh, of unit uh, squares in each row. So there are um, three rows right here. One row, two rows, three rows. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six unit squares in each row right there. So that gives us three units of six. Okay, so if we just add all those uh, rows right there, so uh, 6 plus 6 plus 6, so 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 6 gives us 18, okay, so the area is still 18 square meters, okay. All right, and then so another way is uh, we can count the number of rows and then count the number of unit squares that are in each row, okay? So we can then use multiplication on this one. So there's three rows, there's six unit squares in each row, so that's going to give us three rows of six, okay? And so this shape is like any array. So we've done arrays before, so how did we find the total number of squares in any array? Well, we just multiplied. So we're going to go ahead and multiply three times six, and that gives us 18. So the area is 18 square meters. Okay, nice and fast. We just multiply. If we know the dimensions of a rectangle, whatever this is, we multiply it times this. Okay, or if it's this, then we multiply it times this. Okay, doesn't matter which way you do it. So here's a nice one. So find the area of this rectangle here. Each square is one square foot. Okay, so there's four rows of 10 squares. So here's a, a one, two, three. Three, four. There's our four rows. There's ten squares going across. So this is just going to give us four times ten. That's easy enough. That's forty. So the area is forty square feet. Okay, I told you this was super fast. Take care.